and this table is going to be called post and it's also going to have an ID and instead of there being a name with a varchar of 300 characters there's going to be a title of varchar 300 but there's also going to be a content column which will be of type text which means that it can be any length if you're coming from an oracle world this is the this is the equivalent of a clob a uh, large character blob basically a place where you can put as much content as you want as much text content as you want and then I'm gonna have a category ID also of type int and we'll talk about that in just a second because that's how we're gonna build our relationships so in order for this to be nice and easy to work with I'm gonna create some drop statements and a drop statement basically deletes or gets rid of a table so I'm gonna say drop table post uh, category and drop table post so if I take my drop table category and paste it in it will if I go show tables I won't see anything anymore now I'm going to take all of this all these SQL statements and I'm just gonna paste them in one by one and if I say show tables I should have category and post and if I do a select star from category I'm gonna have my six categories and everything looks pretty peachy and if I describe my post it looks also pretty good so there we have it now let's start adding some content to our posts and do some very simple joins so the first thing I'm gonna do is an insert into post this time we are going to specify that we want the title and a category ID and the values are gonna be I don't know let's say there's a political posting and it will have a category ID of one right because we know that politics is one up here and I'm just gonna create a couple more of these and then I'm gonna create another one and this is gonna be more politics so it's also gonna have a category of one and you're gonna see what I mean when I say one to many and then there's gonna be some kind of international news which will of course be category two and then we're gonna have something related to technology uh, new iPhone apps could you need any more iPhone apps I don't think so but anyways uh, then we also want to have something about entertainment I don't know Academy Award winning movies let's try that four and let's just put something in about sports Olympics 2010 and that should be good we won't put anything in the other category so at the top I did a drop table now if I do drop table category it'll say fine but then if I run it again then it's gonna say error you know 1051 unknown table category so in order to get around this in order to be able to easily paste in our SQL script as we're building it I'm going to add if exists to this wonderful call so it'll say drop table if exists category and drop table if exists post so now when I select all this and paste it into the MySQL command line and I do a la select star on post I'm gonna have the various posts notice that the content right now is null and it's gonna stay null until we start um, looking at the MySQL search engine at the end of this series but you could basically put anything you want in there so we have the title we have the content we have the category ID and then we have select star from category and we have our six categories now let's start looking at how we can join the two pieces of data together and this is where the one-to-many thing becomes a little more interesting so let's say I wanted to get all of the politics postings right then I could do something like 
I could do a select star from, let's see how we could do this. Actually, let's just start with just a simple join. So if I wanted to just join the posts to the categories, then it would be as simple as saying select star from post P, left join category C on P dot category ID equals C dot ID. Now let me just explain this for a second. So the select star from post P I think we can, I think you've seen this before. Basically what we're doing is we're just saying select every column from the table post. Now this little P here means that I want to actually start referring to the post table as just P. It's an alias, it's a shortcut. So that's select star from post P. The left join is what we're going to be doing where we're basically just taking one table and then gluing it to another table and we're going to be left joining with the category table and it's going to have a shortcut of C and we're going to glue the two together using p.categoryid which is the post category ID when the post category ID is equal to the category ID so it's very important that the two line up so if I hit enter then I'm going to get essentially the join that I was talking about where we have the political postings and their category name and we have international news and it's got the international category and we've got the new iPhone apps and they're in the technology section and the Academy Award winning movies and so on and so forth so that's a just a quick introduction into left joins we're gonna be looking at how they compare to outer joins and or what what's called a right join a left join is also called an inner join in the next video, and then we're going to start looking at constraints. I'm John Lebensold, and thanks for listening.